Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and welcome to part 4 in the Please Donate series on how to make your own Please Donate game. So in this part we're gonna, I'm gonna teach all of you how to create global leaderboards and badges. I added badges because you've all been asking for badges so why not. But first let's do the global leaderboard, okay? So we're gonna insert a part into workspace, yeah, and then extend. You need to extend like this, okay? Now we're gonna insert a script. No wait, I'm, I'm actually sped, I'm sorry. We're not inserting a script, okay? Service GUI, and then just a frame for now. Bruh, no wait, I just want, I don't know what I'm doing. My mouse has been going crazy lately. I don't know what I'm doing, okay. Frame, okay look, we have the frame here. Let's just rotate this part. I'm kind of rusty with my mouse, I don't know why. No, I just wanna, so, okay, look. So then we're just gonna extend this, okay? Okay, so basically, we need a scrolling frame here. So we're gonna go surface GUI, uh, in the surf, oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing today. Okay, scrolling frame, okay? Size will be one comma zero, one comma zero, okay? One comma zero, one comma zero, okay? Background transparency will be 1, okay? Make sure your background transparency is 1. Border size pixel will be 0. So now you can just make the part any color and it will show. And then this is too long of an arrow, like everyone would agree. So just make this like 7 or something so it's smaller. So now we can scroll, okay? And then now in the scrolling frame, we're going to insert a uh, uh, frame. Okay, we're gonna call this template. Okay, the name is count. Okay, template. Okay, size will be, uh, let's see, like w one point, uh, let's see, point one five zero one comma zero. Oops, wrong way. One comma zero comma point one five comma zero. What? Point five. Okay, one comma zero comma point five comma zero. Oh, uh, comma point zero one five. Yeah. Okay. So just make it like comma zero point five. So we have this. Got it? Okay. So now after this, make the background transparency one. Okay, like that. And then we're gonna want to. Uh, oh wait. By the way, in the scrolling frame, just insert a UI list layout like that. Okay, so now in the template, and you don't have to uh, edit this, so now in the template you're gonna want to insert a text label, okay? Make the size uh, 1, 0, 1, point, uh, comma, point 0, 1, comma, 0. I think I did, oh, that's position, look. Size 1, comma, 0, comma, point 0, 0.2, comma, 0. Wrong way. Point 0.2, comma, 0, comma, 1, comma, 0. I don't know why I'm rusty today. Background transparency one, text scaled equals to true and just put number one, okay? And then we're gonna call this text label rank, okay? So let's find the name and call it rank, okay? Now we're gonna duplicate this, okay? We're gonna call this, instead of rank, we're gonna call this username, okay? Then we're gonna do one comma five, uh, so in the size 0 0.2. Uh, 0 0.5 as the size and the position will be a uh, 0 0.2 over here. So 0 0.2 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0. Okay, and then just the, make the text like username. Okay, duplicate this once more and then name it, uh, let's see, uh, amount. And then make the size uh, 0 0.3 comma 0 0.3 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0. And then make the position 0 0.7 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0. I think this is, uh, th because this is overlapping this thing, we're going to make this uh, 0 0.27 or 28. We need as much space as we can. 0 0.8. Yeah, okay, perfect. And then just make the text like 100, okay? And then, see this template? You're going to want to... Uh, so now, make another part, duplicate it, put it up here, okay, just put it up there, don't do anything yet, uh, now with the surface GUI, just take 
uh, just put the template in the Surface GUI and then remove the scrolling frame. And then see this template, see how it's really small? Just make the template uh, 1010. One, zero. So now we have that. Okay, so now we're gonna, uh, here we're just gonna do, uh, amount will just be, uh, this will be the donated, so donated. Uh, no, just amount. Amount, username, and then for the rank, we'll just call this rank. So, like the heading. And now, then we have this part. So now, time to start scripting. So, we're gonna insert a script. We're gonna call this main script. Template in, inside the main script. Okay, and now let's start scripting. Local DSS equals to game get service data store service. Then we can do local store equals to DSS get ordered data store donated data store. Okay. Then we're going to do while wait 10 do. So how many, t so it resets every 10 seconds for underscore comma player in pairs game dot players get children do uh, store set a sync player dot user ID comma player dot okay what were the leader sets for the raise data store I mean no donate data store donate folder and donate so player dot donated folder dot donated dot value okay we're gonna go down for underscore comma frames in pairs uh script dot parent get children so basically it just gets the scrolling fr frames parent get children do so script dot parent get children do if frames is a frame then frames destroy so basically will destroy any previous frames when it resets then I'm gonna do local success comma error equals to pcall function bruh why was I doing a parenthesis okay then I'm gonna do local gathered data equals to store uh, get current page no, no, get sorted, a sync, false, comma, 50. See this 50? This is how many, this is like top 50, top 100. I'm just going to do top 50 or top 10. Like, I'll do top 100, because why not? Okay. Then we're going to do local page equals to gather data, get current page, get current page, like that. Then we're going to do for rank, comma, stored, in pairs, uh, no, not in pairs, it's, uh, I pairs, page, then, oh uh, no, yeah, do, local username, equals to game, dot players, get name, from user ID a sync, to number, uh, then uh, stored dot key no not key you key okay then we're gonna do local wins equals to stored dot no not wins bro I'm sped not wins local amount equals to uh, stores dot stored dot value okay then we're gonna do local template equals to script dot template clone then we're gonna do template dot name equals to uh equals to you just username okay then we're gonna do template dot username dot text equals to username then we're gonna do template dot rank dot text equals to Hashtag dot dot so hashtag dot dot rank so we'll say like number one number two basically that and then we're gonna do template dot amount dot text equals to uh stored 
okay? And then we're gonna do template dot parent equals to script dot parent, bruh. And that should work. So if I press play, let's see if it works. Okay, so I was testing it. I have a bit things wrong. So uh, basically, this is supposed to say ML, and this is supposed to be a lowercase k for key. So I think I have it right. I'm just gonna see if there's any errors if I take out the success error equals to pcall function. So let's see what would happen. Okay, so I took out the success. We'll see if there's any errors or if this loads. Okay, 26. Let's see what expected. Okay, let's see. So local amount equals to stored dot value. Cap okay, it's a lowercase v. It's a lowercase v. I have a sped again, lowercase v. Lowercase v, people. So now it should work. Lowercase v. Come on. Yes! It works. It works. It works. It works. It works. Okay, so now you can just make this like top 50. You can see that it works. I am on the leaderboard. It resets every 10 seconds. So now if you want to do this. So now let's just group. Uh, so now we'll just make. See this part? Let's make it another. Let's make it another scale it up okay and then in this surface gui the t uh we're just gonna take all this out insert a text label and then the text label will be sized uh one zero one zero Tra background transparency will be one text scaled will be true and then this will just be like top donators Something like that. So rank username. Group this. Uh, this will be a donator leaderboard. Now if you want to make a raised leaderboard, duplicate this. Raised leaderboard. We'll move it here. Okay, look. So now we have the raised leaderboard. Find the surface GI with all the scripts. I don't know why I didn't name any of it. Okay, look. Nope. It's this one. Find the script, main script, equals to, so get, uh, get data store, raised data store, player dot raised folder, no, not, that's a typo, raised folder, press play, we'll wait 10 seconds and we'll just wait for both the, oh, I'll just change that text, that's supposed to say most raised, see, 35 for that one, and then wait for this one. Waiting. Donate. Oh, okay. Typo. Okay. Script six. Ah, see. Dot raised. Dot value. Okay. And then for uh, the raised leaderboard, this part, make this text. Uh, most raised. All of both the models for the leaderboards will be in the description. Okay. It will be in the description with uh and then also for the badges which I will do next. So let's wait for them to load. Twenty, most raised, raised value top donor is thirty-five. Okay, that works. Time for the badge system. It is time for the badge system. Okay. So we're gonna need some badges. I'll teach how to make most raised, most donated, and then you met the owner badge, okay? So we're gonna go to, uh, actually no wait, I don't think we have enough time, this is gonna be too long. So I'll just do like most raised and most donated value. So we're gonna go to game settings, uh, monetization, create a badge, create a badge. So let's just choose a file, downloads, uh, I'll just do this Robux picture. I don't know, I'm just doing a random one. Uh, let's do like first raised Bruh, let's do first donated First donated preview Purchase for zero robux Okay, that's how to create it refresh 
copy ID to clipboard. Okay, so now let's just create a quick script. Uh, most raised badge. No, most donated badge. This one is going to be fast. Local uh, BS equal bro. That's that's a bad thing. Equals to game get service badge service. Then I'm gonna do local ID equals to that, which is my badge ID. Game dot players dot player added connect function player. Then we're gonna do wait one. If player dot leaders no not leader stats. If player dot donated folder. Dot donated dot value is greater than or equal to one then badge service no uh yeah bs award badge uh player dot user id comma uh id okay now we're gonna do uh uh player dot donated folder dot donated okay dot donated get property sync get property changed signal value so this is each time the value changes connect function bruh connect function if player dot donated folder dot donated dot value is greater than or equal to one then bs award badge Player dot user ID comma ID. So if we press play, I don't think it's gonna work since we're in studio. But we'll, we'll take a try. Yep. First donated award, right there. First donated award. Boom. We got the badge. It works. Let's go. So then it just changed it to raised and all that. I'll I'll do that for you. So, uh, so we'll have a raised one for you. So basically all we have to do is make a most raised badge. So just go here, most raised badge, go here, ID equals to your underscore ID here. This, this is what I have for the model. Then we're going to do if player.raised folder dot raised dot value equals to, uh, equals, let's see. Actually, no, wait, I'm not going to do that now. Just keep it like this. Okay, so that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on all of those notifications. Bye!